Hey Capricorn, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. Capricorn, today we're going to have a reading for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Yeah. And you guys, uh, in this reading, this could be somebody else's energy showing up. <clears throat> yes, somebody's really important. They kind of creep into our, <clears throat> into our readings, and I don't mean creep in a bad way. No, I don't mean that, right? And uh, we have all these beautiful cards, you guys. We do. And I have a new deck here, right? This is the Sacred Traveler. Mm hmm And, uh, you know, this is, we have stepping into your power, you are strong beyond measure. But you have these other cards, navigating by the stars. You know, these cards are, for me, are painting a picture that you're being offered something here, but there's a little bit of a bump in order to accept it. Or, you know, maybe you have to climb a little bit or kind of ascend and, you know, like, maybe you have to put some effort into this. Uh, but there's a little bit of a challenge to it. I feel like there is. But, you know, we have this wondrous universe, walk in beauty. So, you know, walk with your head up high, accept it, and kind of acknowledge it for, you know, how beautiful it is. There's some opportunity here. We have new beginnings and success, right, Capricorn? And we also have, you know, solitude. But this solitude is not about sad solitude. No, it's not. It's about, uh, for me, wisdom and reflection. Yeah, it is, okay, because, you know, mm -hmm. we have to take time, uh, take time sometimes to reassess what's going on in our life. We can't just uh, kind of run through life. No, uh, no, we're not supposed to do those kind of things. But And then we have, you know, follow your bliss. Yeah, I think I mentioned that one. But this is, there's something here. Maybe it's a career uh, maybe you are maybe making a big purchase, you know, something like that. Something's being offered, but there's a little bit of a kind of an ascension or a climb that you need to, yeah, you need to do here. So we also have the medicine woman and, you know, this medicine woman could be a medicine man, you guys. Uh, yeah, usually when you say medicine man, it means both, right? It does, you guys. It's too much of a pain to be, you know uh proper no i don't want to be proper i want to be kind of honest here <laughs> but you know we have this card you know uh about anybody who could be a healer and i feel like that anybody is you but this talks about a little bit about like preventive healing right like kind of seeing something and kind of either saying hey i'm not gonna i'm not gonna walk into that or you know uh, i'm not gonna buy into that i'm not gonna let these people bring me down or whatever with some type of kind of healing uh quality that you guys have and maybe you you uh probably need that for me it's not it's probably more of a like like seeing something uh yeah and you might not be actually healing something but being able to see kind of what is for your better good and what is not i feel like that could be the case here but you know maybe you're healing something we do have the card of bad health capricorn and you know the man the the nurse is here She's standing over the man, and, you know, they're in the hospital, right? And uh, mm -hmm, she's, you know, uh, she's helping him. But, you know, this could be, this, uh, for some, it could be about some, you know, bad health. But it's not usually about physical health. It's usually about somebody's emotional, emotional health. But this isn't you. It can't be you with all these beautiful cards. There's no way. Somebody here, it could be in a toxic situation, or there's some type of, you know, maybe you're trying to step out of that. You, it's possible. You could be stepping out of that with this new beginnings card, right? The child is here mm -hmm, with the wavy brown hair. Yeah, it kind of looks like my little daughter when she was little. Yeah, it kind of does. And, uh, you know, this there could be somebody might be in a situation. They have a child and they're in a toxic union. It's possible here. Uh, but, you know. Uh, this could be kind of uh, maybe not that exactly, you know, storyline. It could be there could just be a child involved here, you know. Uh, but this could be somebody's child and they are in a toxic situation, kind of. It's a possibility here. Uh, we have the official person, right? And the official person talks about somebody who is like somebody who might be uh, maybe in the military. But it could be also just somebody who is kind of controlling. They're calling the shots. You know, they think they're official, uh, we all know people like that, right? Yeah, they kind of have to, like, you know, show off a little bit, like like they're official. But it could be about somebody like that. It's a possibility with this bad health card. 
Uh, mm -hmm. But you guys are the real officials. Yeah, just let them know that. Just say, Power and Light told me so. <laughs> we also have the birds, you guys. And the birds is, uh, it can talk about communication. You could be communicating with somebody by text. Because uh, it's kind of like little little tweets, kind of. That's what, it, you know. And it can also just talk about, uh, it can speak to gossip. It can, mm -hmm. And it can talk about uh, any kind of low level of, of, uh, communication. I don't mean low level like somebody's a low life. I just mean uh, kind of small communications. So let's get into the reading here for Capricorn. Yeah, for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And uh, this is looking pretty good, Capricorn. Let's see what we have for you guys. We have the Queen of Cups, the Six of Swords. Mm -hmm. And we also have the Queen of Swords. We have the World card. Yeah, so this is coming into. Uh, this is coming into play here, unfolding. You might have a union coming in. You could have a sexual encounter. I mean, this is, you know, this this lady and this man, uh, you know, they are uh, pretty young looking with this muscle tone, right? Yeah, but they are like embracing here and they're naked, right? So this is the end of a cycle and the beginning of a new one. Uh, this could be definitely in a relationship, right? But this is coming. You are, and I said that, you guys have new beginnings over here. Some type of new beginning. I feel like you're leaving some type of chapter behind here. I'm not sure what it is. It could be with somebody who there is some type of bad health here, right? But these cards are over here are so, like, they're so awesome here. We have, like, uh, seven awesome cards here for your oracles. And, you know, I just feel like this is, uh, you're stepping out of something. You might be just ignoring somebody. I, and what I mean by that is just kind of like you could just be ignoring a situation where it was kind of toxic. Like I'm just like I said earlier, I'm not going to, I think I said it, I'm not going to buy into this or I'm not going to be a part of it, right? Mm -hmm. You kind of look like you're a trendsetter here and you're going off to have your own new beginning and you kind of don't, in, in, on some level, it's almost like you don't care what somebody either thinks or, yeah, you're stepping into your own power. It says right here. Mm -hmm. So let's see what else we have for Capricorn. The Sun card's reversed. Uh, and this could be a Leo. Because this can talk about unhappiness or not being successful, kind of. The Sun card is all about, uh, but it's about illumination. It's in the reverse. You have the card of success here, Capricorn. Here you are, uh... Uh, in some type of jungle with the panther. I mean, what type of jungle is the panther in? It doesn't look like Africa here. It looks more like South America. It does. Uh, it's just because it's more lush. Africa is not very lush. No. Uh, it's the safari, right? It is. Um, uh, there's probably lush parts of it, possibly, yeah. Because Africa is, I mean, it's huge, right? Yeah. I don't know if it's the biggest... I think it's the biggest continent, too. Is, yeah, I do. But let's see what we have. And we have the Chariot card, the Seven of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. So let's see what we have here. Uh, and your hopes and fears is that you're going to have some type of uh, success here. You're going to have victory with this Ace of Swords. I feel like you guys are searching for some type of clarity here. But I still feel like you guys are moving forward with something. And I, like... You could be saying, well, if I don't have my clarity, it's fine. I'm going to move forward. Because you have this, uh, all these, like, like you're navigating by the stars. Like, this is kind of like follow your bliss. Like, accept something that is bringing you joy and happiness. And then you have stepping into your power and walk in beauty. So, you know, new beginnings and success. I just feel like something, uh, something there's some type of bump here. I don't know if I said that, but there's some type of bump or a little bit of a challenge here. Uh, but it just seems, I can feel in this reading that you guys are going, well, uh, you know, that's just a small part of this picture. I'm going to, you know, take this, uh, take this town or, yeah, I'm, yeah, I am. I'm going to take this town. Exactly. So let's see what we have here. Or I'm going to seize the opportunity, right? However, yeah. So the Queen of Cups is here. And then we have the Queen of Wands. I'm going to move this, you guys, because there's a glare right on these cards, and that's getting on my nerves. Yeah, it is. Okay, better. Okay. So, let's see what we have, you guys. Okay. So, the Queen of Wands is here, Capricorn. The Sun card's in the reverse. This could be a Leo that you're dealing with, uh, for sure. I'm going to move this one more time. 
I kind of completely out of the way here without breaking the damn lamp, right? <laughs> so let's see what we have, you guys. Mm -hmm. Too much glare, right? Yeah. So, you know, I feel like you might be dealing with a fire sign. It's possible you're dealing with Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio as well. We have the Queen of Cups in the heart of the matter. Yeah, that's what we have here. But, you know, this can be about love. It can, it can just be about love. All these cards over here kind of speak to, they kind of speak to like self-compassion, right? Like follow your bliss, step into your power. And this Queen of Cups can talk about, it can definitely talk about that, right? Because water signs are, you know, typically, they are very compassionate. Yeah, they are. I know, yeah, my son's a Cancer and my daughter's Pisces. And they're both, you know, yeah, they are. They're like that. So, uh, let's see. You know, they care for other people. They do. So, and they are sensitive, right? And that's what uh, compassion has to do with sensitivity, right? It's usually sensitive toward other people's needs, right? Uh, but never to your own detriment, you guys. No, don't do that. So let's see. Let's see what it says about. Uh, so we have the six of swords here showing up in the in the. Uh, and this is like getting away from the hassles and the headaches. Uh, from a situation, or it's just moving on physically. Let's see, journeys, travels, reward, a transition, voyages, travel by uh, water. I mean, this could be a real, you could be going on a real trip here. You really could, right? Because you have these cards, kind of new beginnings, and uh, kind of follow your bliss, one walk in beauty. I mean, it can talk about possibly taking, taking a real trip. But for me, it looks like you are like transitioning out of some type of energy here. You guys are ignoring somebody who's toxic. That's what I, I feel like you guys are doing for some of you guys. You're walking into this beautiful new beginning. And I feel like you guys are like, you know somebody is toxic in your life. Or somebody might be in a toxic union. And it's kind of, maybe it's, it's, uh, it's kind of challenging you. Or kind of possibly, but you're not letting it really kind of bring you down. You're like, no, I, I have my own thing going over here, my own journey or my own success. I feel like that's what this reading's about. You guys are kind of like, you're downplaying it. Yeah, that's what you're doing. And that's what, you know, sometimes we need to downplay things, right? We know there's other type of downplaying, you know, where, you know, uh, horrible things are happening. And, you know, people are going, oh, no, it's fine because they're, you know, they're downplaying it. I'm like, what? So, you know, but this, you're, you guys are downplaying something that's not good for you. That's what you're doing here. And that's great. Yeah. So let's see what else uh, we have here. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's see what we have for, uh, mm -hmm. let's see what they say about this Queen of Cups. Because this is a different deck. Uh, fair woman. Okay. I think they mean light skinned. Okay, fine. Uh, good, honest, devoted, intelligent, warm, nurturing, healing. It doesn't have to be a light-skinned woman, you guys. Of course not, right? We're looking at the possibilities here. Protective, sensitive, psychic. Yeah, well, that's how water signs are psychic. Okay. So you might be using your intuition here. I feel like that's what you guys are kind of doing here. Yeah. You guys, that's why we have the medicine woman or the medicine man here, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what this is. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, you guys have, like, you guys are kind of healing yourself on some level. Or you're saying, I'm not buying into this toxic kind of uh, low vibrer, low vibrer energy. Somebody's trying to bring you some low vibration. That's what's going on in this reading. Uh, and they might not be at your door with it, but there's something in their, in their ambience or just something like that in their aura, I should say. It's kind of like, you guys are, you guys are kind of chucking it. Yeah. So let's look at the Queen of Swords here. Uh, and this is definitely making decisions. And so I feel like you're making a decision or somebody you wanted somebody to. Let's have a look at that. And uh, mm -hmm. we talk about uh, charm and intelligence, power, discernment, analysis. Yeah. So let's see what we have. So you are analyzing here. But you guys are... I really love this reading in a way because you're analyzing to this, uh, like, in a way or discerning kind of in a way that is uh, totally in your favor. Yeah, you're not overanalyzing, and you're not uh, you're not letting somebody bring you down. Yeah, you're not downplaying. It's just the right amount. I feel like let's get a card on this Queen of Swords, and we have the Ten of Swords. Wow. So you, you guys feel like somebody's gonna abandon you? <clears throat> yeah, that's what you do, or you're telling yourself. And even if you think somebody's gonna abandon you, I feel like you guys are still like. 
there's something really good you guys have here. So you're kind of like, you're downplaying that. Yeah, you're downplaying the bad, something here. Yeah, let's see what else we have. The King of Swords reversed. So I feel like you guys wanted somebody to make some type of a decision. I feel like that's not about you. You want somebody possibly to make a decision. Uh, but you could be discerning here that you either have to abandon somebody or that they're going to kind of abandon you. I feel like somebody didn't help you guys on some level. Yeah, somebody, you guys wanted somebody to kind of like, kind of walk with you on some type of a journey. I don't know what that is. Yeah. You guys wanted somebody to help you or make a decision in your favor. Mm-hmm. Let's look at this walk in beauty. Yeah, I feel like you guys, that's what this is about. You wanted, you guys needed somebody's help either with a decision or just direct help. I feel like they're not coming to, they're not helping. But you guys are like, well, that's okay. I can do this. Yeah, I can walk this mountain alone. So I can climb it alone. Coming into play, I feel like that's what's happening. And, uh, you know, I don't even have all the cards here. So maybe I'm jumping the gun here. But we have the world card and the death card. This is coming into play. Mm, wow. Let's see what we have. You guys might want somebody to abandon something up here. Yeah, when the more I look at these cards, we have the here fit, the death card, and the world card. Wow. So you guys have three major arcana coming into play. Somebody looks like they're ending a marriage or a union here. Right? For sure, uh, something's ending here. But there's something beautiful happening. The world card. These people are naked and they're like, I can't wait to get it on. Yeah, mm -hmm. Marvin Gaye, let's get it on. Let's get one more card for what's unfolding here. The Page of Swords. Mm-hmm. And this is typically wondering if that's going to happen. Yeah. Yeah, you guys are observing something here. So this is, uh, you know, this in this reading, you guys want something to end and you want some new union with somebody. Yeah, I feel like you do. Maybe it's, I mean, it's, it's with somebody old. I'm not really sure here. We're going to finish this Lenormand spread in the other reading because this needs to be finished here. This is very profound here. With the bad health, the child, the official person, this is, and the birds, this is something uh, serious going on here. Let's get another card here. This is the, your recent past energies. You have the Three of Wands and the Two of Swords. You guys were trying to manifest something with somebody, and it's like, it's like they're letting you down. Yeah, I feel like they're letting you down uh, on some level. Where is that one negative card here? Uh, you are, it's not even negative. It's just that you are strong beyond measure. And, you know, you guys are, are like following that, following that kind of belief. But somebody let you guys down over here. Yeah, that's what this is about. Let's see what else we have. But you guys are like walking in beauty. It's really kind of cool here. Let's see what we have. Uh, mm -hmm. So this three of wands over here could be about a union. And it could be about business. You guys wanted somebody to help you with some type of business. Uh, he's letting the bird go, right, for some type of, uh, for me, it's some type of new beginning that is either a business or, or like, in a relationship. Uh, this is about manifesting, right, and movement, the three of wands. I do believe you guys here uh, wanted somebody to either, you wanted to be in union with somebody or you wanted somebody to help you in business. And it's not clear which. It could be both. But you feel like they kind of, you're discerning, and you might want them to abandon something else, some plan they had or another person. But you guys, I feel like you guys are like, they're not doing it. I feel like you think this person is not going to help you. Yeah, and, and then let's look at the sun card here. This is coming into play, but I'm, this is not unhappiness. Sometimes we see that as, uh, it can be construed or seen that way, but and not in this reading. No, God, no. Um, let's see what we have. I feel like there's there's a level of, uh, there's kind of a level of disappointment in this reading. Yeah, I feel like there's some type of disappointment. So what else we have here? Uh, what we have here? Mm -hmm. Sunburn, overexposure, blindness. Yeah, this chick's a little bit, you know, who wrote this deck. Uh, I'm not going to say who wrote the deck because I like her deck. It's really good, but some of the stuff here uh, is like, 
it, I have to, it's ridiculous, right? We're not even going to mention the name of the deck. No, we wouldn't do that. <laughs> because on some level, it's a great deck. And on some level, you're like, what? That's uh, so silly. Come on. Because uh, she put her own spin on here. And some of it's, uh, to me, kind of wacky. But this sun card in the reverse is coming soon. And this is, uh, let's get a card on that sun card. I feel like this might be Leo right here with the Queen of Wands. Right, guys? Yeah, it could be right here. And if it is not, it could be maybe an Aries or a Leo. Uh, we don't. Ha I mean, an Aries or a Sag. We don't have really any Sag or Leo energy here. But it doesn't, you know, mean that there can't be one, especially for a collective reading. We have the lovers. Mm -hmm. So you know, this could be. You don't have any clarity if somebody's making a choice. Uh, but I feel like it has to do with either a fire sign, a Leo here, or you guys are like, somebody's not making a choice in your favor. Yeah, because there's too much, there's so much discernment, the queen and the king of swords, the two of swords, the page of swords. You guys want somebody to make like some type of a decision and you're not like, you're not trusting them to do that. Or you, and for some of you guys, somebody, you wanted somebody to help you with a victory and they're not helping you, some type of business victory. We have the page of wands here. So this is showing up, and uh, this is uh, coming soon. Mm -hmm. I feel like you guys don't have clarity about some new path you wanted. Yeah. Let's see what they have to say about the Page of Wands in this deck. Mm -hmm. And this talks about, uh, usually talks about a new path. Mm -hmm. This is some type of message. Yeah, I feel like it is. It can talk about... Uh, yeah, this is usually uh, a messenger with news about your, about business, typically. It doesn't have to be business, you guys. We have the lovers in the reading. I mean, you know, and then we have these two people here on the world card who are, like, loving each other. All right. So over here, you it's possible uh, you're going to get some message here that you don't like. It's a possibility for some of you guys. Yeah, we have this card here, uh, and this is the... The birds, right, which talks about messages. It is next to, uh, it's close to this uh, bad bad health card. You might get a message you don't like here. Or you're waiting for a message that never comes. The other thing, uh, you know, that could be happening here is that you are you guys wanted somebody to, like, help you. Maybe, maybe a Leo. Or you wanted them to choose you, too. I just feel like there's a couple energies going on in this reading. I usually don't say that. I usually kind of keep it to one. And we have the chariot card. This is how other people are affecting you. Let's see what it says about the chariot. Mm, this is in the re this is in the reverse. Somebody's like you feel like somebody's kind of blocking you guys uh, in your. Mm -hmm. I feel like in your journey, yeah. Or somebody's not helping. They're kind of holding you back. This can talk about a Cancerian, right? It can, uh, of course, because we have the Queen of Cups in the reading. We have a whole bunch of folks here: Queen of Swords, Queen of Wands. And the Queen of Cups. And you know, they're all here. Uh, they're all here. It's interesting how there's no kings in this reading. It's almost like somebody's kind of depending on their divine feminine energy in this reading. And all about intuition. Because the feminine energy, excuse me, is about receiving or intuition. And we have, it doesn't mean this, we're not talking about any men at all. This could be for a Capricorn male. I'm saying here that there's a lot of uh, divine feminine energy in this reading. Yeah. So let's see what else we have. Let's look at the chariot card. Let's see what they have to say. Delays, opposition. Yeah, it's like somebody's holding you back here. <laughs> it says parking and tra parking and uh and traffic violations, this is, this chick cracks me up here. I mean, it could be, but uh, we're not really talking about that so much. Unless, you know, you live in, in the middle of the city uh, somewhere and, you know, they have, uh, like, like SF, right? They have uh, $80 uh, parking tickets. And signs that you can't understand if you could park there or not. All right, guys? Yeah, uh, that's a true story. So this somebody's you feel like somebody's blocking you, Capricorn. This is how other people affect you guys. Let's get a card on that chariot card. And we have the star card. You feel like somebody's blocking you for a new beginning. Maybe somebody who might be married over here. We have the, the hierophant right here. Uh, and you're wondering if something's going to end. 
I do feel like you guys want somebody to kind of make a decision, maybe to end another union. But I feel like you guys all also kind of feel let down. You feel let down by somebody. And let's see what else we have on you are affecting them. The Seven of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles reversed. So for me, this talks about somebody who's like harvesting. You know, somebody might want to like, uh, and somebody might want to like kind of like just kind of have a victory with you or maybe build with you. Or kind of, kind of, you know, harvest something with you here. Uh, I feel like this is the person that you, that maybe you, you really love here. But the Page of Pentacles is in the reverse too. You feel like you're not going to have something with this person. And I feel like you feel like this person is not like, they're not joining you in this journey. They're not like, they're not assisting you. They're not walking with you in this beauty. You guys have this card, Wondrous Universe, walk, Walking in Beauty. Yeah. And you feel like they're not with you on this journey. You kind of, you guys feel a little bit alone in this reading. Yeah, I feel like you kind of, you guys do a little bit. But, you know, you, you guys have uh, new beginnings coming. I mean, this is, it's really beautiful here. But there's a bump. I feel like this bump is that somebody kind of like let you guys down. Yeah. And let's look at the Ace of Swords. This is your hopes and fears. It's showing up with the Two of Cups reversed. You see, I can't make this stuff up, you guys, right? So, you know, you guys are hoping for some type of victory uh, because you love somebody here, the Two of Cups reversed. But you're fearing it's not going to work out for you with this Two of Cups reversed. For some, you could also be hoping somebody will kind of walk away from somebody else because you look like you are... Um, you're hoping for somebody to make a decision here. Yeah. And this Ace of Swords is you could be hoping somebody really gets to the heart of the matter. Like they figure out their business. Yeah. So we're going to go to the extended, you guys. We're going to finish out this uh, Lenormand spread. We're going to look at your outcome, which is here, Capricorn. And we're going to see also this person's spread, basically, their current energy, how they feel about you, mm -hmm, what they want, what they're afraid of, what's challenging them, what's on their mind what you don't know about them, yeah, and then their outcome. Thanks so much, you guys, for joining me. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. You guys rock. Mm -hmm. Wishing you power and light.